explanation about the minor 11th chord when you have a root on the 6th string. So for example, when you make a, a, a minor 11th chord, you can play from the A, the root, and here it's a flat 7 because A, A, major 7, flat 7. From the A A, this relationship always refer uh, is a minor third. Okay. It's always a major third, minor third. So it's like the one flat seven, flat three. So this is always the, the second note also because Oh I'm sorry, this is the eleventh note. One one five four So this is a a minor 11th chord. Uh, we use a lot of this chord at the um, jazz or um, bossa nova kind of music. We hardly use this chord at the rock music, at the popular music because it's too much. I mean it's sweet but you can hear this chord R&B or um, gospel that kind of music, or a lot of uh, Brazilian bossa nova music. Like this kind of it's, This is side, the side product from the minor 7 chord, which is the prototype. When you make it more funkier, you can play ninth chord, which is A minor 9. This is a 9. A little bit more funkier, you can build it more, a little bit upper, which is 11th. Okay? What's the difference? It's about the extension, you know? This is very much extended. So sometimes it work, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, in in this way, it, uh, key of D, this is working fine. Why? How? So how come this is an F sharp minor eleventh chord? Because it's like this. A minor eleven, G minor eleven. So, the shape why it's not really complicated because only three fingers involved versus four fingers. So, definitely a lot easier. And there's another um, advantage of this because you can leave first and second strings open. So it's kind of like the same effect you can use, but I like this one better though, sound wise because it's a lot fuller, you know, one, this one has the bottom, this one doesn't have the bottom. Very useful in, in, on the key of E because you don't really need to worry about the shape, you know. Especially when you keep the E chord like this way, the transformation to the F sharp minor is really easy. Just like leave the ring finger like that. 
praise the name of Ova. And even G minor 7th chord used to be like this. Um, the 4th fret of the pinky, it makes the unison, you know? So somehow it works as well. So G sharp minor 7th chord, you can substitute with this shape as well. And even B minor 7th chord as well too. B minor 7th used to be like this. So that's the ninth, right? That's B minor 7th. So it's like 1, flat 7, uh, the minor third, so one flat seven minor third, and just a uh, uh, unison from the root, so which is like totally fine. You can double the 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 root all the time. You know, it's not an issue. It's, uh, one of the most secure tone you can choose. And this one, um, by coincidence, it becomes another B minor 11 chord as well. Because 1, 1, right? 1, 1, 7, 6, 5, 4. So the first string becomes the 11 chord, and like 11th note automatically. This is B minor 11. You don't need the index finger to make it the eleventh on that on that. In this one? Yeah. Definitely you can do it like this. But since this this note is a same as unison. So it makes your job easier, you know. At the same time, you don't really sweat at all, but you're making the core which is like off scale. You know, you pay less, but you get like the higher entry, which is good. But um, always, it's not just good to just like pay less and take advantage of it. You know, sometimes you need to sweat 